The death of 26-year-old Honduran national Katie Ramirez sent shockwaves across the quiet community of San Juan on Tuesday night. But perhaps what is left most in shock is that her family members are now detained for her death. Today, there are more questions than answers in the village. But perhaps there were signs all along that Katie Ramirez needed help. By all accounts, she had struggled with alcoholism. And inside this home, the effects of the excessive drinking would play out. Chairman Carlos Peraza, who also happens to be Ramirez's former employer, has witnessed the family violence firsthand. It's very sad to hear that. I know the family was going through some hard times. I understand they were drinking heavily, family-wise. No, I mean, everybody was involved drinking, and a, a tragedy just happened. We don't know, and we can't explain. Did you ever receive any report of maybe disturbance at that household before? Any maybe noise, fights, anything like that? Yes, uh, we have had many, many, many incidents. Uh, this girl, uh, she was working on one of the farms that I'm managing, but a few months ago she just stopped and she got into heavy drinking. I know she lost her family. Um, uh, she has a husband and they were went to court fighting for the kid. And uh, it's been just, just so sad not that um, they couldn't be together and it just happened. Uh, so she was going through a lot of personal or domestic issues. Definitely, definitely. I personally saw some incidents. Uh, we tried to attend some uh, police. I know have been trying to, to intervene in many times, but um, once there is no um, direct uh, uh, investigation into what actually is happening in the family, then we can't do much than what they permit us to do. And so on Tuesday, hours before she died, police say Ramirez was socializing with family members at her house. Neighbors reported that there was heavy drinking when an argument erupted. The nature of that dispute is not clear. But what we do know is that others at the residence tied up Ramirez to control her when she got into a drunken fit. And in a matter of hours, she was dead. She was at home along with other family members on the set date sometime around 4.30 p.m. when they were socializing, um, which eventually ended up in a dispute. And as a result, she was restrained by um, those whom she was socializing with. And at some point, she was seemed to be unresponsive, and, her, and as a result, she was transported to the Independence Polyclinic, where she was later pronounced dead. Chairman Peraza has known the family for about 10 years since he relocated to San Juan. He says the signs that there was something wrong in the family home started showing months ago. But Ramirez herself has had a long battle with the bottle. He says there were regular disputes at the residence and they tried to help. But those calls of disturbance would end here at the village police station. They've been fighting, arguing, crying one over another, and it just happened that uh, we never thought that, that it would happen like that. I do hear rumors know that uh, she had some real problems with the drinking, and she couldn't stop drinking. So she, I understand that she was tied up at some point, but we are not sure about it as well. I know that we outsiders or police can all intervene to a certain point, and then from there, if the family is protecting one, uh, one another, we, we can do better than that. Yeah. Uh, so they never really gave an official report or press charges or anything like that? No, no. They, many times the reports were in the local police office that we have in the village, but they, that's the farthest I, I know it reached. No? They were never taken into custody and stuff like that. But today, it's different. Ramirez is dead and her parents and a sister are in custody. And so far, police have three persons in custody from whom statements have been recorded from. Those statements were submitted to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions for which we are awaiting her directive um, in order for us to proceed further with persons, the investigation. So those persons, um, we understand, are her relatives? Yes, they are. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.